Hello. How are you doing? Hi everyone, so I have just got back from school and five of our chicks have hatched, which is so exciting. So, so I thought today I could read this story called Snap because it's all about an egg that hatched. But who do you think came out of the egg? Do you think it was a chicken or a duck? <laughs> we will see. So this is a story that we have in Oak Glass and it's written by someone called Damien Harvey. Walking by the river one day, Mother Duck found a little lost egg. So as quick as a quack, she rolled the egg home and sat down, plop, on her nest. She didn't have long to wait before... Crack, 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 out popped one, two, three little ducklings all fluffy and bright. Mother Duck named them Quack, Dabby and Fluff. She looked sadly at the last egg and just when she thought it would never hatch, crack, crick, crock, it did. But out popped something all wrinkly and green. What's a tail? said Quack. What a beak? said Dabble. What is it? said Fluffy. He's your little brother, said Mummy Duck. Now say hello. Hello, said Quack, Dabby and Fluff. But all the wrinkly green something said was snap. So that's what Mother Duck decided to name him. Little Snap. Now creatures came from near and far to watch the ducklings first swim. Everyone said, what a sight to see! Each as lovely as the next. But look at that green one, said Giraffe. He's all wrinkly, said Monkey. And he's swimming underwater, said Hippo. Some ducklings are different, said Mother Duck. But to me, they are all wonderful. Days and weeks passed and Quack, Dabble and Fluff grew bigger and bigger. They lost their fluffy baby feathers and grew beautiful new ones. Snap grew too. He got bigger and stronger and faster and longer. But all the other creatures still gossiped about Snap. Look at those big staring eyes, they said. And that squishy swash tail, they whispered. <laughs> and that snippy, snappy mouth. <laughs> They gulped. Some ducklings are different, quacked Mother Duck, but to me they are all wonderful. But then, one day, a hungry tiger slunk down to the river. I smell ducklings, said the tiger, plump, juicy and ready to eat. Mother Duck huddled her children down in the reeds and they didn't make a sound. But the tiger padded closer. Sniff, sniffing until found you, roared the tiger. Now, who shall I gobble up first? My little ones are too small to make a meal for you, said Mother Duck. Eat me instead. But you're old and you're stringy, said the tiger. And they are plump and tasty. Tiger splish splash into the water. Mother Duck, Quack, Dabby and Fluff tried to scare the tiger away. They flapped their wings. They quacked, quack, quack, their quackiest quacks. But the tiger just laughed at them. Suddenly though, with a bubbling splash, Snap leapt out the water. His big round eyes stared, his swishy swashy tail swished and his snippy snappy mouth snapped right on the end of the tiger's nose. Oh, the tiger howled. Ah, he roared and off he went back into the jungle. Quack, Dabble and Fluff clapped and they flapped their wings in delight. Mother Duck fluffed up her feathers proudly and they all quacked together. 
Some ducklings are different, but we all think that Snap is wonderful. And all of the other creatures agreed. So that was the book Snap, and I really liked this one, because obviously um, he was a crocodile, and the egg must have probably been dropped by the mummy crocodile, but luckily the mummy duck still looked after him. Now in oak class we had seven eggs, and five of them have hatched into little chicks but two of them haven't, so maybe there could be something else hiding in them. Maybe a crocodile like Snap, or maybe, or maybe a duckling, or a gecko, or even a dinosaur. So down in the comments below, why don't you leave a comment and say what you think could be hiding or waiting to hatch in the last two eggs that we have in oak class. Do you think it'll be a chick? Do you think it will hatch into something different? And maybe at home you could draw a picture or write a story about the five chicks that we have in oak class and maybe the other creature that's going to potentially hatch out of the other eggs. So thank you very much for watching. As always, if you do have any question or comments, please do leave them down below or any book requests. And lots of the other teachers at St Matthews have been really working hard to film videos of them reading different stories for you to listen to as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you're all doing really well and I will see you really soon. Bye.